are you tired, foggy, gaining weight even though you're doing everything right? And you're wondering, why do I still feel so awful on levothyroxine? And maybe you've heard rumours or whispers about the thyroid medication T3 being the missing link. Then this video is for you. Because yes, you can get T3 through the NHS or in other healthcare systems too, but you need to know exactly how to ask for it and how to make your case. Hi, I'm Helen Aldous. I help people with hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's to lose weight, regain energy and reclaim their life. And I've been exactly where you are with hypothyroidism. And one of the huge game changers for me was getting T3 or liothyronine added to my T4 levothyroxine prescription. And I, I did manage to get that on the NHS. So it is possible. So let's start at the beginning with what many people don't know. And that is levothyroxine, which is T4, that isn't the active form of the thyroid hormone. Your body actually has to convert the T4 into T3. And that's the form that your cells actually use to produce energy, support your metabolism, regulate mood and all the rest. And in theory, this should happen smoothly. But in reality, it doesn't <laughs> um, for many, many, if not most people. And especially if you have Hashimoto's and chronic stress and inflammation or adrenal issues, there may be a problem with that conversion. So here's what happens very often. You're taking the, the meds, the levothyroxine, your TSH comes back normal. Your doctor says, oh, it's, it's normal. But what is actually happening is, is that your free T3 is low. And when that's low, you will feel like a ghost of who you used to be. You will not have any energy and you will have symptoms. So here's the really frustrating part. People are often told, maybe by the GP or maybe they hear or they assume that you can't get T3 through the NHS. And that isn't true. You can, but they make it really difficult for you. And it takes strategy and persistence and understanding how the system works. Because the, the NHS guidelines, they don't say never prescribe T3. They say that T3 can be trialled when symptoms persist, despite a person being on levothyroxine. And they also say that the decision should be made in partnership with the patient. But sadly, that's not how it plays out for most people, really. It's often a really big struggle. And one of the big issues that people come up against is doctors often assume the problem is you, not the medication. And they'll say, just make sure you're taking it properly. Are you missing? Are you skipping doses? Or you know, they'll say, maybe it's your diet. Maybe it's the menopause. Just eat less and exercise more is the common thing that a lot of people hear. So this is why when you go to your GP to request a trial of T3, you need to walk in ready. So my story is I take T3 now and it changed absolutely everything for me. I was struggling with so many symptoms despite being on T4 for a few years. And I felt like when I did manage to get T3, I felt like um, a wilted flower that had been put in water, just coming back to life. Within you know three days, I started to feel like my old self again. Um, so this is why it's super important that people get access to this. And but I had I had a big I had to fight for it. I had to push through being dismissed, ignored, made to feel like I was the problem. And I had to gather evidence, print the guidelines, time my symptoms to real life consequences, and write letters. But once I got that referral, once I had my T three levels looked at properly, it finally started to make sense. It wasn't me. It was that my cells were starved of the hormone that they, they needed to function. So here's what, here's what I did. Um, here's the steps that I went through and I'll, I'll break them down here. Um, how to get a trial of T3. So step one, you've got to ask your GP for a referral to an endocrinologist. And that's because the GP can't prescribe T3 themselves. Only a an endocrinologist can do that. So that they can refer you to an endocrinologist for a three month trial of T3. So that's your first step. Um, so in order to do this, when you go to your GP, um, I would print out the official NHS guidelines. I'll link those below in the description. And if you think that your GP won't support you, go armed with a copy of these guidelines on T3 prescription. So what you might want to do is highlight the part that says T3 can be considered if symptoms are persisting and also the part about 
the fact that the GP should be making decisions with the patient. So those are two powerful parts of that, those guidelines that will help you to hopefully get your GP on side. And then step three, don't just list your symptoms. You've got to tie in those symptoms to how they're affecting your quality of life. So if you go in and just say, I'm tired, that that won't, you know, that won't cut it basically. But if you say something like, I've had to cut my work hours because I can't cope with the fatigue and it's affecting my income and my family, then that is more likely to get heard and your GP be more sympathetic. And it could be something like, rather than just saying, I've put weight on, say, you say something more along the lines of, I've gained two stone um, and now I can't exercise or play with my grand- grandkids and my blood pressure is rising and I'm, I'm worried about that. So that's how you show that the treatment on levothyroxine alone isn't working for you. Um, and then step four, you've got to sadly prove to them that you're taking your levothyroxine properly because the default assumption in the guidelines and often by the GP is, well, if it's not working, they're not taking it right. It's not, they don't think, oh, well, maybe the medication isn't working. They just assume that it's your fault, put the blame on the patient. So you've got to say clearly to your doctor that you take your levothyroxine on an empty stomach, you take it a, a good hour away from calcium, coffee, dairy, you take it at the same time every day, you don't skip doses, and that you still don't feel well. And that's your proof. That's your proof that you probably need something more than the levothyroxine alone. So if your GP still refuses, what do you do? Um, you, you have to push. You can do things like ask for the reasons in writing. You can request a second opinion. You can escalate it maybe to the practice manager. You can write a letter of complaint. You you do have to push. Sometimes you you just have to have to do that. And if you've done everything right, you're taking all your medication and you're still unwell, you are absolutely within your rights to ask for a trial of T3. So just keep keep pushing until you get heard. Um and if all if all else fails, you may need to explore private options. Um that's a whole other video but it's something that's worked for many women who were otherwise stuck. So here's what I want you to remember. If your body isn't converting T4 to T3 properly, it doesn't matter how many normal TSH TSH tests you get. If your T3 level is low, you're going to stay stuck. And being stuck year after year is a, a slow kind of suffering. And the worst thing is, your body is being slowly starved of what it needs and that can lead to other problems you know blood sugar issues cholesterol creeping up inflammation further autoimmune diseases developing higher risk of dementia cardiovascular issues and that's why i say push for this because it's so important it's so important and it might be the thing that changes everything for you if you're struggling you deserve answers you deserve energy and you deserve to feel like you again so if this resonates please hit subscribe. This channel is here to help people like you get answers about thyroid health without the fluff, without the gaslighting. Um, and check my check the description below for a link to my hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's recovery support community.